Good morning. Well, this has been a cold one. <laughs> Got down to minus nine. It's quite chilly. I'm about to go down and check that the chickens are all still fine. Let's hope so. Got some fresh water for them. I've made it up tepid, so it'll take a bit longer to freeze over, but we'll be back down in a few hours to swap it over. Uh, about lunchtime, I'll give them some um, warm scrambled eggs. I think a bit of extra protein as well as a bit of warmth. So that's the plan. But yeah, really cold one last night. We had to put the heating on all night for the first time, I think, ever. Um, it's not the coldest overnight temperature we've ever had, but it's certainly been feeling it accumulate over the last few days. So yeah, stuff to do to get prepared for more of this, I think. <laughs> a really icy wind coming down from the north. The snow was forecast today, so it's not unexpected. It is, however, still quite cold. It can get pretty cold here in the Scottish Highlands, as you can imagine. And I think the lowest recorded temperature I can remember um, was minus 27. That was a couple of years ago, and that was in the Altnahara region, which is in Sutherland, so quite far north. Um, yeah, a bit bleak, I would think, minus 27. Uh, so yeah, we've got some jobs to do today. I need to clean out the wee chickens in their caravan. I did the um, hen houses yesterday, the uh, hen house yesterday in the tube. Um, but with this icy wind and this snow, I mean, we have still got wee bits of blue sky, which happens quite often here, just a wee bit of a mixed message from the Highland weather gods. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to just really talk a wee bit more about how we keep the cottage warm, how we stay warm over winter and our general setup. We've got two 
multi-fuel wood burning stoves um, and we've got a an old a very old Rayburn range in the kitchen so it's really just to talk about how we managed to keep warm here because it can be uh, we're quite high above sea level too so it can be quite cold up here for quite a long time uh, winters generally drag on a wee bit so six to seven months um, but the very first year we moved in here we had a blizzard uh, of snowfall on the 1st of July so well, that's never happened before and uh, hopefully that'll never happen again Okay, so this is our main wood burner. It's a multi-fuel stove with an exposed flue. The reason we need that, as you can see, is that we have a cathedral style ceiling. So it's quite a size of a room to heat, but this wood burner is more than able. And this is our very old 1947 Rayburn range in our kitchen. The kitchen has stone walls and a concrete floor, so this Rayburn really helps in the winter to keep everything warm. And finally, in the master bedroom, this is the third of our multi-fuel stoves. It's quite a wee one and it's set back into the chimney breast. So not quite as much heat from it as the uh, exposed flue in the lounge, but it certainly does uh, warm up those chilly mornings, especially in winter on a weekend morning. Nice to have a burner in the bedroom. Thank you.